The next thing we're going to take a look at is exporting files for use with the DMX Lighting Controller on the FB4. Now I had files previously exported and set to particular queues that I'm going to go ahead and remove. In order to do that, I'll go to the File menu, go to the FB4 File Browser, go to the Content DMX folder, and then delete all of the files that are there. Now pay attention on the lower status bar. You can see communication happening between Penguin Beyond and the FB4. Now the next thing I want to do is prepare my workspace for my DMX export. So I'm going to go ahead and remove any of the workspace tabs that I don't want because I want to export my entire workspace over to the FB4 for DMX control. In this case, what I will do is just keep the tabs that have atmospheric and aerial cues. With the workspace cleaned up, I will now go ahead and save a copy of this workspace inside of Pangolin Beyond. Now, go to File, FB4 Export, and choose DMX Workspace. From here, we can verify the pages in the workspace that will be exported and preview the queues that will be exported as well. If there are any queues that I do not want to export or any pages, I can remove them before we begin the export operation. Once we click on the export button, we'll be greeted with the very familiar prompt to remind us to save the export project. And now we will go ahead and follow the steps of the export dialog just like we did with previous export projects. Now that the queues have been exported, I can go into my lighting console. In this case, I'm using Camsys Magic Queues uh, PC Wing software, and I'm using the built-in Pangolin Beyond profile, which matches the FB4 profile. And I can go ahead and specify what queue to execute based on page number and queue number. Your results may vary based on the lighting console that you will be using. Many times you want to just display a single queue, maybe it's a club name or event name, and this is very easy to do. Go to File, FB4 Export, and choose Autoplay Single Queue. Then you can begin dragging queues from your workspace into the queue number that you want to be able to execute. To play these back, just go into your FB4 and then select Autoplay and then select the queue number. Next, we might want to display a sequence of queues. Maybe it's a logo and then a list of sponsors for an event or something like that, but it needs to be multiple queues run at one after another. So we'll go up to File, FB4, Export, and then choose Playlist. Then we can go ahead and start dragging and dropping cues into the playlist from the export dialog. You can then move the cues into whatever order you need them to play in, and the files for playing these back on the FB4 will automatically be created and exported with the export dialog. When we're ready for this to play back, we will go ahead to the physical FB4, select autoplay settings, choose list, and select the playlist number to play back. The final type of export we're going to look at is a schedule-based export. This will play back queues at a particularly scheduled time. So it's very important that the times between the PC and the FB4 are synchronized. So from the FB4 settings menu, we will go to the to the time section and choose synchronize. Next we will go up to file FB4 export and choose export schedule for autoplay. Once you choose a queue and drag it over to the playback and hit export you will then be asked to go ahead and input a scheduled time to execute the queue. In addition to specifying the time to execute the queue, you can also specify what will happen after the queue is done playing. You can specify that it loops, that it continues playing until a specified time, or that it only loops a number of times.
You will then go ahead and finish the export by going through the familiar export dialog and specifying the options that you need for this playback.